right in my ear. Right in my ear. Bike vlogger here. On my way home from work. Topic of the day. What do I wear on my bike commutes? I got a whole playlist on this, but I think I would like to summarize it. One video. Here we go. O'Reilly Auto Parts. O'Reilly Auto Parts. So, go back. Yeah. A little bit of a distance between the cars. In case they decide to leave the parking lot and pull out in front of me or something. Because I'm kind of goofing around here. So, in the summertime, what do I wear? Very simple. T-shirt. And, well, I don't want to get my tires stuck in there. T-shirt and shorts. T-shirt and shorts. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Oh my gosh, we got the green arrow. Oh. I unfortunately know from personal experience, it does not mean you have the right of way there. that mess I kind of did a he kind of saw I went around the intersection so I didn't have to stop anyway yeah I like cotton t-shirts maybe I'm old school cotton is horrible for sweat because it feels great until it gets wet and then it's just a soggy mess but I still prefer cotton I don't know I guess I like the feel of cotton against my body. That's a personal preference. Woo! Um, shorts, I'll wear um, usually some sort of athletic shorts. Maybe, maybe golf shorts. Maybe just uh, basketball shorts, whatever. Um, <laughs> the only problem with really baggy shorts though is that it'll a lot of um, air resistance you know it'd be like a sail on a boat and it'll slow you down plus they'll just go right up your legs and show off your underwear <laughs> so things to keep in mind so that's basically what I wear I wear fingerless gloves I do still wear gloves to protect my palms at least uh, in the summertime and really, it's not just summer cycling. It's, um, I'd say anytime the heat index is above 50, whenever the low for the day is above 50 heat index, I will wear just shorts and short sleeves. And that's kind of my reference point, is the heat index and specifically the low of the day so the low heat index heat index means temperature plus humidity so you don't even need to look at the humidity to figure out what you're gonna wear besides if you live in a humid climate you know it's gonna be humid so. <laughs> so then I have my fall slash autumn slash springtime clothing which I wear anytime the low temperature heat index for the day is going to be below 50 Fahrenheit so what do I wear then man this stuff is overgrown in the right okay all right right in my ear right in my ear Look. us bikers gotta stick together or maybe not maybe not um so uh in the fall I'll wear uh I'll wear I will wear pants I'm not gonna wear shorts anymore it's just getting colder I'll wear full finger length gloves um I'll I'll sometimes wear uh ear cover you know something to cover up my ears it's getting cold 
outside, maybe a skull cap with like ear flaps on him or something. Oh, I think I hear a train. Do I hear a train? Oh, let's make a light. No, maybe I don't hear a train. It's kind of loud out here. So I'm sorry for all the noise. Sorry for the noise. Woo. Um. So what else do I wear? I used to wear cycling sandals quite often. So if I was gonna wear cycling sandals, I'd wear them with socks. Uh, but otherwise, in terms of my extremities, nothing different in the uh, fall. Although, I guess I will say I will wear um, windproof underwear. It's like the best thing ever. Basically, it's like taking a trash bag plastic trash bag and sticking it in front of your in front of your bits oh yeah we're sharing the road we're sharing that road real good I don't want to be too far to the right because I'll get my tires stuck on the curb and I'll fall like I did in the previous video where the sidewalk was elevated from the ground it was, which I guess is correct but yeah I fell pretty easy in that one though because I fell on the grass on the sidewalk see if you time this right I can make the light uh, when it's green and not have to stop when it's red like all those jokers <clears throat> Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 See, there you go. Good deal. So, um, yeah, I won't wear a jacket yet in the fall, but I will wear a pullover micro fleece. So, like a, uh, kind of like a sweatshirt. So, obviously you can see a pattern here. I, I wear basically regular clothing. I don't wear any special kit of any sort. I could, but I don't. I just wear whatever wear, wear whatever's comfortable for you. Well I guess I should go back to the summer. I also mention I often do wear polos, like athletic polos, like something kind of snazzy you might wear on a golf course or something. For all the golf clothing I have kind of funny because oh look at that we got a bike lane again where'd that come from I got the bike lane. um I don't golf so kind of funny so then next thing we got is winter so in winter time I will uh okay I will wear a jacket in winter but often, even when it's really cold outside, I'll still get sweaty. And it depends on how well your clothing fits, I think, because if your clothing is really tight and it's not the kind of material that wicks sweat away, you're gonna get really clammy and sweaty fast. You don't have any airflow going. Which is why I highly recommend if you're gonna wear a rain jacket or some something that's like, made out of plastic and doesn't allow heat to escape at all if you can dang this is a really nasty nasty bike thing nasty nasty bike thing um <laughs> is get something with what's called a pit zip which are like uh basically just cut some holes where your armpits go because you can release a lot of heat that way and not get really cold and avoid getting all sweaty. If you buy some fancy clothing, it might already have like a, a mesh or something under, you know, where the armpits go. But of course, the uh, the cheap way is just to cut a hole yourself or poke some holes through it yourself with a with a pen or something. I guess I don't know. I'm not telling you to ruin your clothes, but it's a quick way to retrofit some old clothes old jackets uh, so for 
my extremities, I will now wear some thicker gloves. Some really thick gloves, like by uh, some lobster claw gloves where they keep your fingers together like you're doing the, what is that, the uh, Vulcan salute or whatever, Star Trek. Man, I gotta slow down here. Light is red. Uh, I'll put some sandwich plastic bags over my toes because it, it has the same effect as putting something in your underwear. It'll keep you really cool, It'll keep the wind off you because the wind will really get you cold. I was weird back there. I was getting to the intersection and the cars were encroaching on the bike lane so I had to scooch over into the regular traffic lane. No biggie. I am traffic. I'm a bike. I'm a bike. I'm a bike. I think we're in the grove now, uh, even though there's like no sign. I forget, I don't come through here very often, but uh, stay, in the, stay in the traffic lane, stay in the traffic lane. I don't come here very often, but uh, I think there was like an entrance sign. Maybe it's from the other direction, from the city, not from the county. Watch that door zone. Watch the door zone. So I'm going home from work today, but I'm actually going away from home. <laughs> I need to turn around. That's our car. <sighs> nice amount of uh, passing. I thank you for that. You gave me plenty of space on the side. What are those weird bulbs or light bulbs or balloons or what are those? I think those are lights. Could be wrong though. I guess I gotta come back here at night time. <laughs> See now it's green, so they got in front of me and now they're uh now I'm all caught up. So in the winter time what else do I wear? Basically more layers. It's better to go with more thin layers than just like a few really thick layers because you can uh, tweak it really easily. There goes some cyclish. Um, I wear a helmet with no vents or almost no vents. That way I can keep my skull nice and warm. Of course, where the ear covers. Um, and then really, yeah, I mean, it's just I like add a jacket. Um, I might have, I might wear some long underwear to keep my, uh, no. No, no, we don't want a copyright strike. Let's get that music out of the video. <laughs> um, okay, let's turn it around here. So, yeah, I mean, I might wear some long underwear, but generally, generally no, so. I think that pretty much, pretty much covers it. Okay, it's nice and quiet here. I walk in the middle of the street. Show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing just a t-shirt, shorts, 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 with some shoes and gloves. Let's go. Let's go here. <clears throat> uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I don't usually go this way, I just had to be 
I was just wondering for a second, am I going down a one-way street? Because it's it's weird because it's divided here. But no, this is a this is a two-way street. And my gracious, this lane's got to be 20 feet wide, so they could easily install a bike lane here if if this wasn't a parking area. I think you could park along here, even though nobody. <laughs> It almost kind of looks like a warehouse district. I don't know if anyone, why anyone would want to park on the street here. Here to there. Oh, just kind of looking to the left there is a neat looking building. Reutilizing those shipping containers. Okay, somebody parked here. <laughs> That's a burnt, smashed out RV I just passed there on the right. That's kind of funny. So I left the battery door open, sorry about that.